Hey guys, so I had to think about, we are on Tuesday. I think today, honestly, this Tuesday feels like it should be much closer to Friday. Maybe it's just me? Is that just me? Um, I don't know if any of my friends have a hot minute to check in with me um, and to hear this message today, but this morning in my devotion, something hit me like right between the eyes um, that never really stuck out for me before. And so whenever God just delivers that heart message to me, I, I honestly wonder if it's a message that is not only for me, and maybe it is, but maybe it's also a message to be shared. A little bit of background. Um, over, well, yesterday, Monday is my therapy long day. I'm usually in the office from about 9 a.m. until about 8 p.m. Um, seeing clients, doing paperwork, you know, just regular clinical work. I'm talking to you from my office right now. And it seemed like yesterday was one of those days where client after client after client, it was a lot of children that I saw yesterday with their families. And it was a lot of us talking about this principle of being on closeness, on closeness. What in the world is on closeness? It is when a child is struggling, um, whether they are angry, irritated, deeply saddened, shut down, aggressive, um, essentially when they are just in the, the battle zone, right? On closeness means instead of sending the child to time out or sending them away from you, um, you actually lean in, maybe not physically leaning in, although that could be, but literally getting very quiet, making the world around them very quiet and safe, and essentially writing out the emotional tsunami together writing it out together and that sends such a pivotal message to children it says when you are in the pit when you are in the central point of the storm i will not leave you i will not leave you i will not shame you i will not abandon you i will not ridicule you i will not punish you um, really looking at the behavior through the lens of what's happening in the mind and the body and the soul. So we talk a lot about this principle of being on closeness in my office. And I always think about that when I talk about it and I think, gosh, how nice would that be to be an adult and live by the methodology of being in closeness principle. That when we are struggling, instead of isolating or, um, you know, being a slave master to ourselves, that we would actually lean in and lean on other people. So I was deeply pondering all of that this morning. And, um, Lo and behold, in my devotion, which I'm doing as a, a, a whole church-led devotion, there's over 300 of us working through this workbook right now. It's a 10-week study um, called Rooted. And today, there was this one little paragraph section that was so small, but it was so beautiful. And it talked about the scriptural verse. I don't have it in front of me, so if one of you know it, put it in the comments. Um, the scriptural address where it talks about when we are hurting, that God, in fact, um, carries our tears. Um, and it talked about how um, from centuries, even thousands a year, of years ago, women would actually keep a little jar, a little bottle, and they would collect their tears in their bottle so that when their spouses or significant others would go off to war, they would collect their tears in this jar and hold them dear to them, even put them to a chain on their necklace. Um, 
so that when their loved one came back, it would be a gift offering, a showing of how much they were missed and how deeply, deeply important they are to their heart. And I thought, what a beautiful, beautiful thing that when we are in the midst of our struggle, essentially in the proverbial eye of the storm or eye of the emotional, uh, physiological hurricane, that God doesn't abandon us. He doesn't forsake us. In fact, he says that he carries our tears in a jar. That's how close, that's how meaningful we are to him. Our tears matter to him. And I just thought that is such a beautiful sentiment that we have a God who is always on closeness principle with us. Always. He doesn't send us to time out. He, he's right here with us. His spirit resides within us. So uh, that touched me today. Maybe, just maybe, um, it was meant to touch one of you or more of you today as well. But that was my nugget. And now I'm going to go home and take care of my other nuggets, my, my doggy nuggets. And um, that sounds gross. My dogs. Go take care of them. Let them out. Go grab a bite to eat and do some good self-care um, for me. So have a good one. Take time for you. And if, if you can, take a few moments just to be mindful that God um, says that you are worthy. He says that you're enough. And he says he is so close to you. He carries your tears right there, right there and right close to his heart. That is your identity. Um, that is your identity in, with, and through him. Live that well. Carry it well into this day. Bye, guys.